In this project, you're going to make an outhouse using SketchUp. Students over the years have made lots of different designs, from the traditional all the way through to contemporary, funny, and everything in between. You can be as creative as you want with this assignment. The goal is to learn the software through making this model, but you should also have fun with it. Start by opening up SketchUp and grabbing the rectangle tool. You want to pull out a square or some shape. If you want a square, hover out and you'll find that a diagonal line lights up. Grab your push-pull tool with the letter P and pull up. Orbit around and use your hand tool to get into a good position where you can see the top of the rectangle. Grab the line tool with the letter L and draw one across the midpoint. Zoom in and grab your move tool with the M key. Hover over the line and pull it up. It'll need to say on blue axis. Now grab the line tool with the letter L and you're going to draw a line from point to point on the front and on the back. Use the push-pull tool to pull out some overhangs or push in the sides. Whichever way works for you is fine. Next, you're going to want to make a rectangle door. Navigate into a position that makes sense and pull out using the R key to activate the rectangle tool. Make sure that it's drawing on the face. You'll also want to zoom in to start and then halfway through your rectangle, navigate and then hit R again to finish your rectangle. This makes it so you can start in a really specific location and zoom out to see the rest of where you're drawing. Now use the push-pull tool to add dimension. Now you're going to grab the line tool and make some siding. You can pull from edge to edge and you can make a horizontal or a crooked line, however you like. Here's an example where you think you'll be drawing on an edge and it says on edge. But remember, if you're not in the correct position, you might be drawing to the wrong edge and your line may not sit on the face. Always navigate to a position that makes sense. That way you can see where you're drawing. Now we're going to use the paint bucket tool to paint the surface. When you click on it, it'll open up a menu and you can click on the search icon in the upper right. I go down to colors and I'm going to search for some traditional wood colors. I'm going to give it some variation. You can also use pre-made siding options. There's lots of them. The only problem with these is they're not really editable. So their scale might be too big or they might be kind of blurry or just not the right color. That's why it's better to try and model your own siding. Off on the right, there's lots of menu options and here you're gonna use them for anything from determining your textures to setting your scenes. Now we're going to use the two-point arc tool, and we're going to make one of those moons you always see on the surface. Zoom into a position that makes sense and make sure you're drawing on the face. You click once to start, move, click to another position, move again, and click to finish your circle. Make another one that connects with the beginning points and goes a little bit less of a curve. You'll know you did it right when you grab the move tool and you can hover in the moon and reposition it on the face. Use the space bar to grab your selection tool, click the moon and delete it or push pull it. You can do the same thing on the back of your structure. You can draw and dissect any face using the line tool. 
Here, I dragged it up and I inferenced off the ridge to be able to tell where the center line was. That means I just hovered over the edge. When you're finished, make sure to get into a position that makes sense from ground level and just take a screenshot. If you want to export a PNG file, you can, but it's just going to have too much space. Make sure that you crop it afterwards. Have fun with this assignment, get creative, and learn how to use the software. That's the end goal.